I know you've already written about it, about Greene County pulling out of the Dayton Development Coalition. Yes, I did. Oh, well, I, 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 the Dayton Daily News apparently took offense to that particular... Yeah, they're not too happy when their boys don't get their payola. When they don't lie. That's right. It's a very interesting thing about that is that if you don't fall in line, you won't get too many things from the Dayton Daily News. Well, it's that, that regionalism thing. Oh, yeah. In other words, if you have groupthink, in other words, if you fall in line with... No, no, no. It's, it's regionalism without ever actually doing anything that makes us a real region... But doesn't uh, the Dayton Daily News kind of condone the recycling of public money through oh, the coffers of private corporations? Absolutely, back? they just they love, don't they, they don't ever look it. at that particular cycle, do they? No, they they Mr. do this. Mr. Turner cycle, Mr. This. Hobson cycle, Mr. Ho Devon. Hobson Hobson was a master at it. When apparently Marilyn, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. Apparently, Marilyn Reed, who's been involved in her more than her fair share of committees as part of this process as she was on the board of the MVRPC. That would be the Miami Valley, Valley Regional, Regional Planning, Planning Commission. Commission. It looks like Marilyn Reed has determined that Green County has gotten all its use it can need from the Dayton Development Coalition. Yeah, they got their BRAC designers. Yeah, they got their BRAC They got all this construction going. With they, got the, they got the green funding yeah. their operations. And and now they're like, hey, we don't have to give you any And they got money. Austria in there, who's about as bright as a burned out light bulb, but he's apparently willing to take the churn. But now remember, Steve Austria doesn't do earmarks. That must mean he's okay. He doesn't do earmarks. No. Yeah. Well, who needs earmarks when they have... When the Dayton Daily News admits that everybody that's going to move in for this new BRAC, more than 50% are going to Greene County. Oh, yeah. But it's for a... some reason, you know, that kind of discussion never gets intimated as they do but, growth or they but, propose but, but the there's... Franklin County interchange down oh. there for them. There's still, there's still Rick Perales, the one Green County commissioner, says, oh, we should at least give them the 50 we promised them. $50, well, dollars. He just has a class. slight guilt complex where Marilyn Reed, being a lawyer, has no guilt complex whatsoever. Some, somebody suggested it might be part of the problem is that they're getting sued and investigated for the no-bid contract to the Dayton Development Coalition where they just handed them the money several years back. You mean the churn? The churn. And handed it over and said, okay, there you go. You know, it's interesting. We believe in, you know, free society and capitalism, but we only have one development company that gets all the money. Then when I, I, I started digging around trying to figure out how much Montgomery County gave it to the Dayton Development Coalition, that's when I had to ask somebody in the treasurer's office in Montgomery County to find it because they didn't write the check to the Dayton but Development Coalition. They wrote it to Dayton Projects, Inc. It's like one big shell game there with moving the money around. But it's an open way for the community to have earmarks discussed. Uh, I mean, you can't, the gall, the Dayton Daily News, really, the and, gall. And when Mitchell ran, John Mitchell, who brought up his, the lawsuit and done all the questioning, when he ran against Austria, he was written off just because he's not playing the game. He didn't yeah. fall in line. Um, you, this, you understand that feeling? This guy's a retired lieutenant colonel. He's oh, actually, for some reason. He's actually served our country, unlike Mr. Austria or Mr. Hobson, who... Uh, they served our country. Uh, served, served it up on a platter. Yeah. But for some reason, you know, people like us, we're the naysayers. But we're actually... <laughs> all we want to do is say, your tax dollars are supposed to go back for service, goods and services... To deliver to Look, you. Wright Patterson could generate twice as many jobs if I was in there doing efficiency on the thing. The place wastes money. And that's the point about what Congress should be doing. Congress shouldn't be making laws. They should make sure that the money that is appropriated for these institutions gets done appropriately. How many you think Austria knows this? it's from a hole in the ground? I've heard them. I remember Eileen showing up at the Dayton. Chamber of Commerce. The, a real brain trust the old Green County is elected out there. Here, here's the deal, though. I mean, everybody who's, you know, the teabaggers, the Republicans, the, they're all complaining, well, we don't want to give our money to the government because they waste it. And you know something? They're right. <laughs> they are. They do waste it. And the things that they, they probably should do, 
Yeah, that's a big no-no. Things like health care for everybody so that we're all healthy and we don't... No, we, we don't need health care. I mean, no, I understand. No, so no, see, we'll get all right some other if day. We're, if we're all healthy, then we can all go to work. Then we can all pay taxes. No, what the corporations don't want is... Or nor insurance. They don't want you to... They don't want you off their books until you're 65 and on exactly. Medicare. Until, 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 you, until you really until get sick. Until you really get sick. So the disingenuousness of this argument or the... It's unbelievable. Yeah. Get, get, get it, people? Money is going to talk, and you're going to be deceived, especially by the snakes. Hey. The weavers we, we of the opened, words. The Supreme Court has opened the door, op said, <laughs> here you go, corporations. Don't worry, advertising man. You're going to make some money. Anyway. No, no, I don't do that kind of advertising. DDC, the Dayton Dummy Coalition, gets duped by Maryland and Beaver Creek. She don't need you anymore. Say bye-bye.